exciting day today. Who can guess what it is? I know. Hmm. What haven't we done this year? Sports day, Miss Barton's favourite day of the year. We normally do so many sports days. We do a, um, a nursery reception one, we do a key stage one one, and we do a key stage two one. And this year, sadly, we haven't got to do any, but that's fine because we're gonna bring it to you at home for you to do throughout the summer and throughout the rest of the days in this term. I'm super excited to come with you with 10 challenges. These challenges are super fun and they're gonna get your heart rates going, but also challenge you against your houses. So you are going to get sent a document with these 10 challenges on and then you're going to write your scores in the box next to it. Mr Lord will be sending these out today for you so keep an eye out on Twitter, Parent Pay and on your emails to see when you're going to get these through. But this video is me and some of the other staff at Long Sutton Primary School delivering and showing you how to demonstrate these challenges. It has been so much fun getting as many staff as involved as possible to create this video for you guys so I would really love it if you all give it a massive go for me. I'm really sad I can't be outside today. We've got building work going on and there's a little bit of a mess out there so I'm inside doing my challenges for me today so you can do yours inside, get outside but get some fresh air that is most important. When we think of sports days and sporting events, I like to think of our school games values. And if you've joined me this year or in previous years, when I've taken you away to competitions with our school games, we've looked at these school game values and you guys at Long Sutton have showed me them time and time again in our PE lessons and it makes me super happy. Have a little think right now, just 10 seconds. Who, what do we think our school games values are? It is really simple and you all show them in your everyday but when it comes to sport we like to show them even more we've got honesty we've got passion we've got respect teamwork self-belief and determination and I'm going to wish you all the best of luck with your 10 challenges and let the school sports day commence good luck guys who is ready for the throw and spin challenge? So for our throw and spin challenge, all you're going to do is throw your ball or object, so it could be a ball of socks, it could be a teddy bear, or you can do an underarm throw up in the air and see how many times you can spin around before you catch it. But don't fall over. What do you reckon? Who's gonna fall over? I'm definitely gonna fall over. So you are gonna underarm throw the ball up, and as you throw it up, when it's up in the air, you're going to give me a spin. Are we ready? Oh, it's quite tricky, guys. Are you going to come and get involved? Come and sit here then. Should we see if you can do it? Well, woo! Good boy. Come and bring it. So, guys, I want you to underarm throw the ball up, spin round. How many times can you guys spin round before? Whoop! You get too dizzy. Have fun, good luck. Hello everybody, welcome to the skipping challenge. I'd like to know how many successful skips you can do in 60 seconds. If you haven't got a skipping rope, then don't worry, you could use a dressing gown belt or foam net, do some imaginary skipping instead. So it's how many skips can you do in 60 seconds? You can choose to skip however you wish. So you might want to do a one, two over the rope. You may wish to jump or you can leap over instead. Remember, the faster you go, the more you can do in 60 seconds. Good luck. Hi everyone, I've been asked by Miss Bart today to give you a demonstration on the V-sit for your virtual online sports day today. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate for you. So you need to sit down with your back straight, legs in a V-shape and you need to lean back with your hands on the top of your thighs here just resting keeping a straight back holding those tummy muscles in to give them a good firm workout today if you can hold this for a minute that would be great okay give it a go keep it up well done okay that's my demonstration Hi everyone, I'm here with your sports day challenge, the catch and clap. 
Sounds quite simple. All you have to do, throw an object in the air, see how many times you can clap before you catch it. Let's have a go. Three. I'm really not very good at this. I look forward to finding out who the winner was and how many times they managed to clap before catching the ball. Good luck. So today we're going to do socks in a box. That sounds a little bit funny, doesn't it? But I know you all have a box in the house somewhere or a washing basket or a cardboard box and I know you've all got some socks. I'm going to use mine with a ball and I'm going to use Brodie's toy box for this challenge today. So all I want you to do is place your box five steps away from you. I'm inside but it'll be easier for you to be outside. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to place my box down. You might not be able to see it, but I'm then going to go all the way back to where I mark. So you might want to put maybe another pair of socks on the floor where you were marked. I'm then going to do an underarm throw into my box. And if it goes in, that's one. I want to see how many times you guys can get it in in 60 seconds. So. I'm going to have my ready stance ready, my leg forward, my opposite arm to hand, throw it in my box. Oh, I missed. I'm going to run and collect it, not give it up, and have another go. Oh, I missed again. Let's have another go. And it's gone in. Let's go and collect it, bring it back, and that's one point. Are we ready? I hope you're all keeping count. Two points. Woo! Go me. Keep yourself cheering on, keep going, get that heartbeat going. Three, well done guys. Now it's time for you guys to have a go and see how many guys you can get in in 60 seconds. Good luck. Hello everybody, it's Miss Hannum here. I'm introducing your next exercise for you and that is the squat jump. We're going to see how many squat jumps we can do in 60 seconds. So to start off, we need to be in a position where our feet and our hips are in shoulder width. So. We squat down to our lowest point that we can. Everybody's will be different, their range of movement. So squat down, our knees and back should not be straining. As we're squatting down, our back should be straight. I don't want any of this, and I don't want any of this. I want our back straight squatting down. As we're in that squat position, we're going to use our arms to push ourselves up into the air, using that explosiveness to get as high as we can. So squat down, arms, and reaching up. If you don't want to put your arms up in the air, you don't have to, that is just extra momentum to get as high into the air. As we're jumping, I want to see a big gap between the floor and the bottom of your foot. No cheating, big gaps. So squat and jumping up. How many can you do in 60 seconds? Good luck. Hi everyone, Mrs. Thompson here. I'm gonna set you a challenge for your virtual sports day. And I've got Safi with me is my lovely little dog and she's come to join us today in my garden so key stage one this one's for you we're going to do a balance challenge okay so we want feet just slightly apart stand up tall and straight see if you can focus on something right in the distance but at your eye level okay no looking down and then just lift your leg up place it to your knee put your arms out to help with the balance and see if you can hold it one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See if you can keep going. The longer you hold it, the better it will be. Good luck. Okay, next up, we've got the challenge for key stage two. Now, I need a block for this. So I'm just gonna get this one from over here. There we go. You might wanna use a cushion or something else that you can find at home. Anything will do. I found this. It's a doorstop that I use. And here's Safi, come to have a look. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna stand on it. Now, choose your best leg. I'm gonna use this one, I reckon. So I'm gonna stand on it, hopefully not fall off. Feels a bit wobbly, let me get it a bit, a bit flatter. Okay, Yo, that might be it, let's try. Okay, you ready? So we go up, leg up, arms out, and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. You continue, do as many as you can. 
who can do the longest balance and keep looking forward don't look down hold your arms straight and concentrate oh that's me done okay i'm sure you can do a better job than me good luck guys have fun may you the best one win take care hello i'm going to show you how to do the speed bounce activity you will need a scarf and a bit of room to jump you will need to do it for 60 seconds and land two footed jumps on either side. I'm now going to show you how to do it. Stop. Once you've done it for 60 seconds, make sure that you count how many jumps you do and keep active. Bye. Hi, everybody. I hope you are enjoying your sports day. A little different how we normally are and it feels quite strange to not be cheering you on on the field but it's still going to be super fun and I hope you get really involved, try your best, challenge yourself and enjoy it. I know Miss Barton has worked really hard on getting everything ready for you so make sure you do her proud and have a go at everything, even if it's something you've not done before or something you think you can't do. Okay, so for our next challenge, we're gonna need a tennis ball or a ball, or if you don't have a tennis ball, you could ball up some of your socks at home and use that instead. I also, for this challenge, don't have a tennis racket, but lockdown has made us all adapt, so I'm gonna use a frying pan. And we're gonna see how many times we can tap a tennis ball in 60 seconds. If it drops on the floor, don't panic, pick it up and keep going. So I'm gonna start my timer and see how many I can do. My timer has just gone off. 110 in 60 seconds. I dropped it a few times, so I'm gonna try it again later and see if I can improve. Have a go. Let us know what you get and have fun. Bye. Hi guys, hopefully you're nicely warmed up. Uh, my challenge is toe taps. So you have to see how many toe taps you can do in a minute. Okay, and by toe tap, I mean this. Okay, now I've used a football, but you can use anything you want. You can use a flower pot, a pillow, a cushion, anything. Um, see how many you can do. Off you go. Go for it. Woo! Well done guys, that is your sports day done for another year. It's been a little bit different, but I'm super proud of you. How many of you guys have got involved and joined in with us on our virtual sports day? Let's see if you can get as many people involved. If they don't even have to be a part of our Long Sutton school, maybe grab your parents involved, get them along to do it. Maybe your brothers and sisters haven't quite yet joined us, or they're bigger than you and they've already left us grab them and get them involved as well. I would love to see as many people get involved within this virtual sports day as possible. You've done yourselves really proud today and I'm gonna give yourselves a massive pat on the back because not only have you tried really super duper hard, you've also adapted and you've tried something different today. So really, really well done and good luck. Have an awesome summer holidays and I'll see you really, really soon. Keep an eye out for our next video, which is gonna to be tomorrow morning, and it's your teachers saying goodbye to you for the summer holidays. So from me and the rest of the staff, good luck, keep active, and have as much fun this summer holidays, but stay safe.